whatever. If you wanted to be an artist at the end of the 19th century, Paris was the place to be. It was the capital of the European art world. It had the most prestigious art schools and plenty of collectors to support the arts. But it was also the hub for artists who wanted to challenge the status quo of the kind of art that the Academy produced. Groundbreaking artists like Edward Manet, Claude Monet, and Paul Cezanne all exhibited their work there. Young artists, writers, composers, and playwrights all flocked to Paris to become part of the scene. In the 1890s, a number of students who had studied at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris had come into contact with a teacher and symbolist painter, Gustave Moreau. His student, André Matisse, said that Moreau disturbed our complacency. Matisse, along with his studio mate, André Duré, would emerge as the philosophical leaders of a group of artists who were interested in finding a more direct and authentic approach to painting. By employing an exuberant use of color and a primal use of material, they created highly innovative paintings. They used color in a symbolic or expressive way rather than a naturalistic one. Matisse would say, when I put down a green, it does not mean grass. And when I put down a blue, it doesn't mean the sky. These artists wanted to set color free. Although we are used to seeing artists painting abstractly now, at the time this was a radical idea and caused a great deal of consternation among art patrons and critics. At the 1905 Paris art show, known as the Autumn Salon, critique Louis Vasselet walked into a room filled with art whose use of color and application of paint was like nothing he had ever seen. A sculpture by Renaissance artist Donatello was also in the room. Vasselet declared, Donatello en melu de fauve. This means Donatello among the wild beasts. Vasselet was not being complimentary, and these artists would forever be known as the fauve, the wild beasts. As awareness of these ideas spread, artists all over Europe began to experiment with color and abstraction. While some artists did continue to paint in a more traditional style, abstraction would become the dominant style of the 20th century. Many, many artists that followed the Fova were influenced by their approach to painting. Henri Matisse would become known as one of the most important artists of all time. Color had indeed been set free and artists continue to explore its expressive properties even today. <laughs>